I guess Akai said it's better to be late to the party than to not show up at all. And with that being said, the NPC officially has stem separation. And I'm about to show you how it's done right now. Bolo. Now, this is just an announcement video. This feature is currently not available to the general public yet. It will be very soon though, right? Okay, should be real soon, right? But since I am one of the few chosen participants to test this out and to use it ahead of time, you know I had to give you a sneak peek of how the stem separation works inside of the NPC. Now, it's very easy to do this. You don't even have to look at your computer screen. You can do everything inside of your NPC. You can use this on all of the current NPCs, whether it's the NPC One, the NPC One Plus, the NPC Live 2, the NPC X, the NPC X Special Edition, or the MPC Key 61. It's gonna work the same on either one of those units. So let's go ahead and go to my MPC right now and let me show you how the stem separation works. Okay, before we get started on this, this is not the final update. They're still working out a few kinks and trying to get everything perfect. So by the time when the final update drops, everything will be ready to go. So this is not the final update, but I'm still gonna show you guys how it works either way. All right, I have a loop that I got from splice.com. It's actually very dope. And if you guys do not have a Splice account, you might wanna go ahead and get one. They have tons of royalty-free samples in there. If you guys wanna go ahead and get an account, just go ahead and click my link in the description and you will save some money on your Splice account. But here is the loop right here. So first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the pad that we're gonna use. And then we're gonna go to edit samples. And as you guys can see right here, it pulls right up. Once we have our loop or our sample in here, all we simply have to do is press process. Now that we're in process, as you guys can see, it's right here on the scarred. What we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll all the way over to create stems. Just that easy. Once we do that, we just gotta make sure that we want everything highlighted. So I unhighlighted everything. We just go ahead and we highlight everything. And then I just uncheck use uh, trim sample. I don't need that. And then what we can do right now is we can press do it. Now, if you want a faster way to get to this screen, we can just press function when we go to you know the process section and then we have all our functions and you can go just press on create stems right there and it'll take you right there to the same page. Either way works fine. So now that we have all these highlighted, we just press do it. And right now it's just, you know, gonna take its time. All right, that did not take that long to do. And if we play this first pad right here, it has all of the stems put on this pad right here. So what we can do is we can go right here, we can go to assign samples. And as you guys can see, all of the samples are put on this pad. Now, I don't know why they did it this way. I wish they would have had it a way where they could spread it out across the pads for you automatically. But this particular build, this is how it is. Maybe when the update comes out, it may be a little different for you guys. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to clear the pad. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here and play that. And as you guys can hear, it's the bass. Now that we know that's the base, we can go ahead and just double click this into the pad that we have selected. And then we can go to the next empty pad and what is this? That's the drums. We're gonna put that in that pad. We're gonna go right here. Ah, the melody. And then we have our, we have our vocals right there. And we're gonna put that right there. And then there it is. We have all of our different stems on its own separate pad now. So when we go back to our main and to our program now, we have everything split up. Whoa, baby is the Lord. And as you guys can see, it separates these things in a really good quality way. Like 
it, it actually did a really good job doing that. All right, so now that we got that done, I'm gonna show you guys another way to do this, and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this way right here. So we have our sample still, so we have it. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to edit samples. And then what we're gonna do in this situation is we're going to chop this sample. So we're gonna go right here to uh, chop and we're gonna do a manual chop on this real quick. All right, so now that we got everything chopped up, we're gonna go ahead and hit shift. So we're gonna hit shift we're going to hit process and then we're going to create stems and we're going to put this on assigned to pad nine right here. So we're going to press do it and let's see here. So now it is creating all the stems. OK, so as you guys can see, we still have it in chop mode right here. But if I go right here and I scroll down, guess what? It has all the stems already chopped up for us. So now. And then we can go to another one. Go to another one. Well, that's actually kind of dope. And then we got the vocals too. Whoa, baby is the low, low. So we have all of these already chopped up and just like how you would do if you are like chopping up like any type of samples or whatever, all you have to do is go in and just convert these into programs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here starting with the bass. I'm gonna go ahead and hit shift. I'm gonna convert this over to a program. So I'm gonna press do that. Then I'm gonna go down to the next one. This is drums, shift, convert, make that its own program. Go down to the next one, shift, convert, do that to its own program, and then for the vocals, shift, convert, and press do it. So now if you want to make this sample a little bit different, you can go ahead, like what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take and make this four bars right here. I know uh, this is 75 BPM, so I like to do stuff in double time. Let's go ahead and make this to 150. And then I'm going to start with the drums. Let's do something real simple. All right. And then I'm going to go right here. And then I'm going to start with the, uh, let's see here. That sounds pretty cool. Let's try that. That's actually kind of cool. We can go to another track. All right, let's add the bass. I'm going to follow the same thing. Oh, that's dope. And then what we can do now is we can go in and add the vocals and we can keep the vocals the same. And then just like that, you can take a loop, stem it out, and then you can go ahead and make your own stuff. I think that's dope. All right.
There it is, stem separation on the MPC. As you guys can see, it is very easy to use and you guys will be able to up your sampling game and your production game by using this handy feature inside of your MPC. So make sure you guys stay tuned. This will be out very soon and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something from it and like I always say, peace out.